Okay, hi, and um, welcome to my video regarding some sounds and some uh, ideas around the P Boss GT8. Um, what I'll do is first of all is I'll take you around uh, basically my, my I use for my live setup, uh, which will give you an idea uh, how how you can basically use a Boss GT8 um, in any sort of circumstances. Um, no, not often. Not a, a lot of you probably already know the Boss GT8. Um, there's been a load of different versions of it pre before the Boss MEs, the Boss GTs, the rack mount systems, um, and over the years I've used um, Marshalls, all sorts, millions of different foot pedals, and playing live, I just like to have to have something basically simple and reliable that I know is just going to work. Um, I used to use a load of different pedals and. Uh, uh, what I found was either the batteries would run out or possibly sometimes a, a power cable would come loose or a patch cable would come loose. There were just so many different points in the chain that it could it could fail. So uh, I thought, right, okay, back to basics. What can I use? And I already had the, the Boss GT8, which I was using for, for um, the overdrive, overdrive sounds I was using from the amp, but the, the Boss GT8 I was using to enhance some of the other pedals I was using. Um, it also took up a lot of room on the floor, so if you're using to play in the smallest gig, um, it's not helpful. Anyway, so what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to try and probably show you then now um, my next solution, which I thought, okay, let's dump the, all the combos and all the pedals. And I know it sounds a bit silly, but going back to the old, uh, the old 80s rack mount systems, but let me show you what I use. Okay, bear with me on this. The main system is um, a Boss 9000, which is a 9005 power amp. It's a Mar sorry, Marshall 9005 power amp. Um, that goes into two 2x12s. Um, I'm quite happy because uh, that, that, that this cab you're looking at here now is a um, an old Mesa Boogie cab, uh, actually, sorry, Mesa Boogie combo that the, someone took out the amp and just left it and used it as a 2x12. So it's got the, the Blackwood with spiders in it. This one here is just a standard Laney Ironheart 2x12. But uh, although the, 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 two, the, the two cabs are completely different, um, as I'll explain a bit further on, uh, the, the, the fantastic stuff about to do with the, the Boss GTA is you can use and blend two different different amps. So essentially, I'm, it's like as if I'm taking round one head, two cabs, but two complete different sy systems. <coughs> I mean, okay. So going on, um, yeah, I'm using the, the Marshall Nine Double Five um, Stereo Power Amp. Um, it's all tube. I know a lot of people that uh, much rather to use sometimes the the smaller units. Uh, the solid state ones, but I'm just finding with this that it's it's got that excellent bit of warmth around it. Okay, there's some a lot of tubes in there. It's quite heavy, but um, it's well worth it. I know you can get um, newer versions of it as well now these days, uh, more of a golder version of it. Um, I haven't personally tried that myself, but um, but I know this one works. It works really really well. Uh, it one of the good thing is it's switchable, going from um, Marshall. It goes from a um, stereo 50 watt. And you can switch it down to a, um, a stereo 25 watt. You can also use this in uh, in mono if you want. Um, so you can save you sometimes in smaller gigs and smaller practices. Just to cut around run two two by twelves all the time. You can use it with just one. Okay, goes from there then into uh, a Boss Graphic EQ. Um, really really good. I only recently got that. Uh, what I'll do later on, or maybe on some f um, some subsequent videos, is I'll show you the difference in um, in with the graphic, without the graphic, and the next one up on top, which is a um, a BBE Sonic Maximizer 482. Um, all I can just say that these these are fantastic units. It, it doesn't seem to do uh, a lot, um, but it just it just makes the sound so much more professional. Um, for live you, live systems, then I use a, an AKG wireless system up on top there. Okay, for this um, for this video. <laughs> Excuse me. This video here, um, I'm using a fantastic little guitar, uh, which I recently um, traded with someone. It's a. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. It's a uh, 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 Fender Squire. Yeah. So you're not talking mega bucks. You're talking probably about three hundred pound odd. 
uh, or less probably on eBay. Um, but it's a Fender Squire Telecaster, but it's the classic, classic vibe version. Um, it's it's an, a fantastic little guitar. Uh, for the money, it, it's probably, I mean, I've played all sorts of different guitars, from Gibsons to Fenders, Strats, um, Super Strats, Kramers, um, Jacksons, Ibanez, all sorts over the years. And this is probably one of the nicest. I mean, plus it's all again. It's all down to personal preference, but this is um, one of my nicest uh, playing guitars I've ever played. To be honest, um, the other guitar which I probably will do in, in um, maybe further videos is a, um, a Gibson SG, which has got the um, uh, Steve Lukather loaded pickups in it. But that's another video I shall, I'll go on and show you in in, uh, in a while. Okay, let's back to the, the main point, which is the, the Boss GT8. Let me see if I can show you this. And here it is. And uh, like I said, this is the Boss GT8. Um, as you see, I'm going. F I'm basically going from the, the, the power amp into the, 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 the uh, graphic EQ, into the BBE. And from there, a lot of people will use a, a rack power amp. Sorry, a rack pre uh, preamp. And um, and they'll, on top of that, then, they'll have to plug into the preamp, then, um, a, a foot controller. Well, essentially, what you're looking at here is a... Is a um, not far off. I mean, in its day, it was, fun, it, it's, it was the top of the line. It's basically a preamp and foot controller all in one. The fantastic thing about, uh, and I've tried um, Zooms, I've tried um, Vox, I've tried Digitech, um, The Boss, uh, and uh, this, these units, the GTs, not so much, I'm not going to diss the, the MEs because, it's, it's just, again, it's all down personal preference, but I found for a gigging musician, a live musician, the GTs are... Uh, are just a lot more professional. They, they're a lot more rugged. They do a hell of a lot more in terms of um, tweakability. Um, and there's a lot more extra little functions hidden away on it that using the software that you can, uh, you can access and make your life so much easier. Okay, so on to showing you and playing you a couple of... Um, a couple of example sounds and tones that I use. Uh, I play in a, a cover band, much like uh, millions of other boys and blokes and girls and on the weekends, um, and they're playing all sorts of different music, right the way from, um, I would say, your, your pop stuff right through to your rock stuff, to pop stuff, even your, your thrash and metal sort of stuff. Okay, so I'm playing a, a bit of all sorts. So what I'll do is I'll take you through um, I would say three main sounds that I use on uh, a regular basis. Um, the first one is more of a, um, I would say, a clean, very, very, very clean sound um, with lots of lots of delay, lots of um, bit, a little bit of chorus into it. Um, from there, then on to more of a Fender Bassman sort of sound, which you can add in a bit of a, a bit of overdrive to it uh, for something like yeah, your Rolling Stones sort of. Um, uh, songs, and then um, the main uh, last, then my overdrive sound, um, uh, which uh, I'll, I'll take you through. Then how you can use that with um, additional, uh, the f especially the the foot control on the GT8. You can uh, you can allocate a lot more than just volume to it or wah, wow. um, which a lot of people don't realise yet. But anyway, let's take you through to um, some of the sounds. Right, to start off with now, um, and what I've done is I've gone through, the, for the GTA, I've got um, the, the one of the speakers mic'd up. Um, I've got, I was using the two of them, but <laughs> unfortunately, uh, I, I've, I've only got two mics. So um, so anyway, uh, I've got one mic going into, which is going from the, the Mesabuki cab, going into the mixing desk, and I've also got a stereo line then as well, going from uh, the phones, or the, the audio out, which you normally plug your headphones in for practice in, Again, another fantastic feature of the G Boss GT8. That going into, and the two of them going into a mixing desk. Then, from that then, a line out of that mixing desk into the computer. 
So what I'll do to start off with is I'll just give you a, an idea of purely just uh, a single cab mic'd up, one mic. The mics are Behringer mics. They do the job. They're, fan they're okay for I do it using for for vocals. Um, not necessarily the best uh, uh, microphones for um, uh, for micing up uh, cabs, but well, just you 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 hear the, the examples and other bit. pickup and a bit of twang on the bridge pickup right what I'm going to do now is I found from the Boss GT8 through the, the, the software which you can download online. I'll stick the, the link to it as well. Um, what you can do is you can allocate, you know, I think, up to six functions for the foot controller. So the foot controller can not only just um, control the volume or perhaps um, the, the wire, but you can also have it. So it, uh, as soon as it reaches the top, it kicks in an overdrive pedal. A distortion pedal. The um, I'm not sure if you know about the the Boss GT8. You've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine main um, amp types, amp simulations. Each of them, each of those those nine having different variations. So you'd have like a, um, a Marshall one, which would have uh, ranging from JTM 45s right through to um, uh, JCM 900s. Yeah. Um, you can also have um, separate from the, the preamp the preamp emulation which also has speaker emulation as well um, you also have a, a selection of loads and loads and loads and loads of overdrive pedals overdrive distortion pedals uh, ranging from anything from your, your rat your rats, your boss ones um, all sorts, you name it Marshall Governors, Blues Breakers ones all sorts, you name it um, the only thing that I would say, I'm going to try and be as, as subjective as I can with this video. The only thing I found with the distortion pedals on its own, not the not the amp simulations, but the distortion pedals on its own, I found that they were quite samey, a little bit brittle. But again, it's all down to personal preference. Um, so, back to your, your volume pedal. What you can do with your volume pedal um, is you can allocate... For as soon as you can reach the top of, of the um, the range, or even partway through the range, you can have it kick in uh, an, an additional effect. And I think uh, you can have an additional, maybe two or three different effects. So I can have it play, play, play in just a just a straight. I mean, I've got all of what I've got there now. And bear in mind, you only just have it hearing this purely just from one microphone. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, um, what you can do is you can you can cook in like a stereo delay and stuff like that. I mean, because bear in mind, I'm using mine as stereo now. Um, I use it for, for for live as well. So you can have it kick in a, a nice sweeping delay, um, rotary stuff like that, and an overdrive and maybe a chorus as well. Purely just through one rock of the the volume pedal. Right, I'm going to kick in now the extra stereo channel on the mixing desk. Bear in mind, again, that's on the, the bridge pickup on the Telecaster, which are quite twangy. So 
So that gives you an idea, yeah? I'll drop out the microphone. And I'll put back in both micro uh, the one microphone as well with it. So, what um, a lot of people um, uh, sometimes say is, with a lot of uh, a lot of preamp or sort of a lot of preamps or a lot of um, uh, foot controllers and stuff like that, when you when you're recording straight from the, the headphones, unless you're using some of the new Line Six HD stuff, um, you don't really get uh, that much warmth. That's purely just the stereo from the phones headphones. So. Okay. Now what all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to press the foot the the controller down purely just to, I'll just rock the um the actual volume pedal up now. So Our version of uh, Pebble Rain. I know it's a bit of a corny song, but uh, that's still a good one. do if you wanted to I mean um, obviously you can, I'm kicking in there now I'm vo raising the volume a little bit um, swelling the volume and I'm also bringing up the delay amount yeah this is it with it off there's a smidgen little, little little teeny little bit of delay there but as soon as I kick in the pedal I'm raising the, the amount of delay not the, not just the actual effect itself. Also with the, the GT8, you've got um, a, uh, you've got the say you've got your your banks up and down. You've got your patches one to four. But you've also got a control pedal, which you can add additional control pedals as well. So if I wanted to now, even without changing the patch and stay within the same patch, I can kick the control pa um, uh, pedal, and that will bring in like a like an overdrive, uh, a tube screamer, something like that. What have we got on my... I mean, I've got a rotary on there now. I can put a same again, again, same patch. Yep, that's purely as bit just rocking the the uh, the volume down, volume up, and the delay comes back in. So I've not only got my one patch to start off with, I've also got my rotary, and I've also got my delay control, purely just through the one patch. Um, and you can go on. There's loads more. I could probably um, stick in um, additional with the delay or have the delay come in with the rotary on the control patch and I can, as I bring the volume up, it kicks a solo boost into the, pre into the, the preamp stage um, and then uh, an overdrive pedal as well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the, these, un these units are amazing. Okay, that's a clean sound. Now a lot of a lot of people will say, okay, yeah, clean sounds, digital, it's a lot more easier to reproduce. So what I'll do now is I'll move on to um, the next patch, uh, which is more based around a sort of a Fender basement. 
Okay, so this is the next pickup on this. <laughs> slight bit of overdrive or the drive channel on the amp preamp and to be fair I've used a lot of amps in the past I've used a Fender uh, Blues Deluxe um, the, um, the Fender Hot Rod Deluxes that's not far off considering the GTA is a fair few years old now um, for a, a, a pedal board that you could probably pick up these days uh, between the rounds about, I would say I've probably seen about £150, pound, between £120 and £150 in the UK um, that's not bad ok I'm now pick, kicking in an overdrive pedal, so I've not only just got the, the, the slight overdrive or drive boost or drive um raise on the amp preamp but I've now kicked in like a um, uh, what do you call them um, Ibanez Tube Screamer that's on that's on Again, the only the only thing that I've I've had negative really to say about about the this certain this this GT8 is the overdrive distortion ones. Um, again, it probably is a, just account just down to finding your own personal preference. Some people much more a really raspy sort of overdrive. Some people prefer a um, a more, more smoother, warmer sort of overdrive. That's more myself. <laughs> Bear in mind, I'm also using a quite a bit of a quite a, quite a bit of a tangy sort of a uh, twangy sort of um, uh, guitar as well. So, okay, right. I'm going to move on now to my my main, I would say, um, uh, rock sort of sound. Okay, now this is based on um, two different two different amps. Uh, a JCM 800 um, high gain and a JCM. I'm not sure if it's a JCM 800 or not. I think it's a JCM 900. Uh, but but uh, between if you ever hear if you hear the two amps, one is a lot more of your um, early 80s. Uh, the 900 is probably a little bit more getting on towards a little bit more your more, your your proper metal sort of way. Yeah, so you're probably difference between AC DC and probably sort of white snake. Yeah. Um, so what I've, what I've got now is I've got those blended. Uh, again, for my live rig, uh, I use two Tupper 12s. So I have the, the JCM 800 
going through the uh, the Black Widows um, from the uh, the old Massive Boogie Cab, and the the nine hundred through the the Delaney Line Hat, yeah. They tend they tend to work the the best in, the com- in comparison with them. Um, again, you're only probably hearing this now. Just the one mic uh, speak up, uh, one mic on the um, uh, Massive Boogie Cab, and digitally through the mixing desk. Okay, so this is my main overdrive sound. Started off that that patch. Then um, I still had the um, the volume pedal right up. Right, this is what I'm using here now. <laughs> yeah, it is based r- roughly around a G- an old GC meter, the cranked sort of sound. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. When I hit the control button now, I'm going to kick in um, a bit of extra drive. SG, you've got that further input again, further output from the from the guitar, higher output, higher, um, warmer um, pickups. This is just stock, classic vibe, Fender Squire Strat. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Fender, sorry, Fender Squire Telly. Okay. Um. Now, I'm not sure about you, but um, that is more than warm enough. Yeah, this is with the, the distortion pedal off on top of it again. Now, full volume on the guitar. Um, back off the guitar a little bit on the volume. it quite well. Two. Yep. Okay, the last little patch I use um, very rarely, uh, a bit of a wild one, uh, which I use for sort of a bit of 
um, potty sort of solos. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, a bit of an over, a uh, bit of an overview of um, the sort of sound you can get out of a GT8. What I'll hopefully do in, in the upcoming weeks is I'll start to try and take you through each of the patches that I've got on here. Um, also, take you into to hopefully show you the um, um, some of the features that you can use using the online sort of on uh, on your PC uh, controller, uh, which lets you edit and. Um, fine tune, really fine tune your your sounds. So they sound so much more authentic, like a proper um, like a proper amp. Again, you're saying, okay, well, just use a proper amp. Um, if you use this, you hear this thing in in stereo live. Um, you'll know why. You'd <laughs> why? I mean, I am using the proper amp to be honest. Yeah, but instead of using fifteen thousand different pedals on the pedal board, which can go wrong at any different point, I'm using one. So, hope it's. Uh, Gives you an inkling on the GT8. Well worth um, getting one of these uh, one of these units, uh, and again, well worth getting one of these little square um, classic vibe tellies. Fantastic little guitars. Hope to see you soon. <laughs> 